WKU Century of the Spirit campaign wrapped up recently after surpassing its $2 million goal. But it's the video showcasing how the money was used that has the whole campus buzzing. When it came time to put together a thank you video for campaign donors, WKU decided to think outside the box. I've seen you invest. The video was, first of all, the concept of let's have something fun and short that really will excite people and make them feel great about what happened. The next step, hiring Madhouse Creative from Toledo, Ohio to produce a rap video. We sent them a lot of information about the campus and about the campaign and they wrote the beginning of an excellent script right away. They got it. Then it was time to cast the rapper, so an email was sent to the entire student body. And they were like, hey, we got this big music video that we want done and we need a WKU rapper or singer. So I was like, well, I'm a WKU rapper or singer. Can Louisville I junior Marquand Barty won the part. He recorded vocals, then had three 12-hour days of filming on campus. Really some of my favorite shots are the times that I performed the whole song because that allowed me to like dig deepest into my personality to uh, ex to exude what they wanted for the video. Lots of familiar faces from WKU also made their way into the video. Carpe Lee's Carpe Diem was just perfect and suits him to a T, of course, and he's so beloved, and I think that was one of the real highlights of the film, honestly. The video debuted at the President's Circle Gala. Marquand's mother was there to see it. I sent chills through my, my body. I was like, that's my son. That was my son up there. And I cried, like I say, I cried from start to finish. It was wonderful. Also wonderful, the grand total from the campaign was more than $202 million. We started strong, we ended strong, and we got participation from within our university. 49,000 people plus uh, donated to this campaign. If you'd like to check out the video for yourself, go to www.wku.edu. Costello says the next fundraising initiative will be a focus on scholarships for the next three years. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.